What is up guys? Need for Steve back at it on another demo ride. This is like my sixth one, fifth one that I've done with Yamaha. Thank you guys. Sun's out, guns out. Today I'm on the uh, 2019 Yamaha R6. Uh, this one has a Yoshi pipe on it. Oh man. Got that nice hunched over feel again, as you always. Oh man. I can still partially see behind me. Got your uh, right there. Brights. Or not a whole lot going on over here. Got your mode button, standard A. We'll just go in standard mode. Track control. God, riding, riding this thing long distance is not, is not super comfortable. <laughs> Ugh, I hate it. Not a fan of sport bikes. Again, they, they look cool. Don't get me wrong. Oh god, it hurts. Well, at least this one has a gear indicator. That's cool. So we got our gear indicator there, our uh, speedometer, a bunch of mode lights. It's a shift light. It sounds good. I will give it that. This thing sounds really good. Holy shit, this thing is fucking quick. God damn. Three levels of traction control. Four, five, six. Like I don't, I don't know what the difference between the traction control levels are. Who's this for? Be a good track bike, and it looks phenomenal. It's got uh, the the tinted screen that uh, from fact from Yamaha. That's nice. The mirrors I can see out of. Like okay, I just not a not a sport guy. We're not a sport bike kind of person, man. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, probably gonna get some hate comments like, oh, you're riding an FCO7 bike. The FCO7 is, is substantially more comfortable than this thing is. No fuel gauge, but you get a light. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Like, I got a good track bike. Something to commute on is no, not having it. It's way too hunched over for my liking. It's, it's got gobs of power and it probably handles amazing. Which is, which is fine. I'm like, oh, that's kind of what you want. That's quick. I will give it that. This bike is pretty goddamn fast. I mean, it has to be for being a spurt bike. I get no take my reviews as uh, something professional. I'm like I, I ride it. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not honest about it. I'm not. I'm not being paid for my opinion. Like I said, the acceleration of this thing's fantastic. But the riding, the riding position is horribly uncomfortable. And it's probably not so bad of, on a short distance of this, but on a long ride, it wouldn't do it. Not highly recommended. There's the shift light. I kind of like the shift light. This thing is stupid fast, though. I will give it that. It sounds good, too. Got, this one's got a Yoshimura pipe on it uh, from, I think it's from the factory, but it's uh, uh, as an add-on from the dealer. Suspension is totally not forgiving of this thing. But I think it's supposed to have a nice firm suspension, so when you're on the track, you just get better handling out of it. But it's fine for those people that, uh, you know, want to want to take this thing to the track and still kind of have a nice looking bike. Like, it's a gorgeous looking motorcycle, don't get me wrong. But the, uh, the ergonomics and the comfort is not there. Oh, you can just got a nut tap on the.
This fucking bike is fast. So much fun though. Mike, through the straightaway, this thing is this thing will put a smile on your face. I can I can appreciate how uh, how fast it is off the line. But again, as a as a commuting bike, uh, not so much. The comf there's no comfort there. I do like the uh, the analog tachometer, Mike. It kind of brings you back to the old school days, where it just kind of see the needle uh, doing its thing. Like I I really like that about these uh these uh these sport bikes here, because a lot of uh, newer bikes and even a lot of bikes in general have a uh, they don't have a tachometer or it's, a, it's all digital. Like I like I do like the digital speedometer on this thing, and I really like the analog tachometer. Uh, it's just kind of a, a just a classic sport bike feel. And honestly, this is the only this, this is the second sport bike I've ever ridden in my life. Um, the only one before that was the R1 that I rode a couple of years ago. Um, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll go ahead and link it in the top right corner uh, so you can watch it. In my opinion, about I'm like between both bikes, it's it's hard to choose a favorite. I think this one has a little more managing power to it, but they're they're both great for what they are. If you want to, if you want a dedicated track bike, it's it'd be great for that. Commuting around the city, not so much. For the R3, I'm curious on what his thoughts are. Uh, I'll have that video in the again in the upper right hand corner if you want to watch it, just for again shits giggles or with to, just to waste your time. Maybe you'll find these videos informative. I don't know. Maybe not. Nobody ever does. They just give me. They just leave critical comments like, "Oh, what a worth, what a worthless, worthless review," which is fine. Like. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a professional moto journalist. I don't get paid for this. Um, I do it out of hobby because I like riding motorcycles and I like filming things. Standard mode. fucking motorcycle so goddamn fast. This is so fucking fun. Straight lines, man. This thing is gobs of fucking power. <laughs> that was fun. I, I really enjoyed that. I can see why why people take these things to the track. I'm like, it's, it's, got, it's got good usable power. Oh, man. That was fun. Look at thing in the A mode. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just kind of dumb it down a bit for a B mode here, just to kind of relax a bit. No daily 100, but we did a daily 90 on that thing, on this bike. That was fun. That was pretty good. <laughs> Although it does, uh, it does kind of protect you from the wind. Well, that's kind of nice. I honestly, I like uh, where the R6 logo was. It, uh, it's at the 6,000 RPM range. I'm like, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I like that. A little Easter egg, maybe. Again, who's this bike for? Um, people that just want a nice, uh, fun bike to go, you know, cruise the canyons or a good track bike. Like, this would be a great dedicated track bike. Uh, as for commuting, again, I, I probably repeated myself, but not so much for commuting. Like, I, I can imagine sitting in stop and go traffic for, uh, for hours on end on this thing, or even, uh, doing a nice long commute, I think would be horrible. Like, I already get some, uh, cramped wrists. Uh, just kind of sitting down and putting all your all your pressure on your wrists. This bike does sound good though. I will give it that. Although I'm impressed that it has a gear indicator. Looking forward to editing all these demo rides. Like I really enjoy filming these things. I just don't. I don't have the in, the means of income to to so buy new motorcycles all the time. Like I don't know how people do it. The only one I can kind of relate to other motor vloggers is a uh, chase on two wheels. I'm like he's he's had the same bike forever. You know. I'm like no, that's the other guys. I'm like I'm, I'm glad that they can uh, they have the financial means to uh, to get different motorcycles. So, God, my arm hurts, my wrist hurts. 
Uh, but uh, I don't have anything else anything else about this bike, guys. You know, if you like these videos, again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, if you if you like the video, enjoyed it, or uh, wasted your time, give me a thumbs up. It does help me out. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Still don't understand the whole uh, YouTube thing. I just ride video, ride motorcycles, talk to myself, edit, and put it on the world to criticize. That's what a motor vlog does, right? That's right. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it uh, more than you probably know. Um, and again, if you help, if you find this video helpful by any means, or if you just want to criticize, go ahead and share it with your friends. I, uh, I do appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.